Ciao Juventino of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Today, Sunday 24th of May 2020, we will do the same as yesterday. We will open the Italian big journal papers and we will review them and see what they are saying about Juventus. Not only the papers, but maybe also check online. So let's start. We start with Gazzetta. Today Gazzetta we see Cavani c'è l'offerta. Uh, that means Cavani there is the offer, the offer from uh, Inter to him actually because Cavani can leave for free. Uh, is this a news that regards Juventus? Mm, 90% no, but maybe, maybe that means that if Cavani will go to Inter, Icardi is not coming back to Inter. So maybe there is a percentage that Icardi can go to Juventus. So let's see, as was spoken yesterday, today Icardi is not in the plans of Juventus anymore at the moment because of that huge amount of money that we need, but we never know. Stop with Gazzetta because they are saying nothing anymore about Juventus. We jump immediately to Corriere dello Sport, let's see what they are saying about Juventus and Big surprise, there is Juventus on the front page with De Cilio. But actually, they are not speaking about Juventus. They are just saying Coraggio Calcio, what means courage for the football. So guys, we are about to restart the league. So guys, come on, we have to be strong. That's actually the message with a big interview to Arrigo Sacchi, who's actually saying that uh, we need to finish, we need to restart the championship because that's important. And let's consider football as the most important thing after the really thing that matters. So that's his opinion, his point of view on that. After that, nothing else about uh, Juventus, but if you go online or Corriere dello Sport, you can see an article where they speak actually about Juventus and they are saying, Juve tutti i dubbi di Sarri, da Dybala rabbiò, ecco cosa non va. What means? Juve, all the doubts of Sarri from Dybala to Rabiot, Rabiot looks what not going on, what's not okay with Juventus. And when you read the article, they are actually explaining that especially the midfield can be a problem for Juventus because we have Pjanic who is mentally already gone. Uh, you have Kedira who never played this season. Let's see how he will come back. You have Rabiot with all the big problems uh, that yeah, probably his training with Juventus, he came back not on time, but he's there, his training, but apparently he is already trying to leave Juventus. So we have a big problem in our midfield. Ramsey is maybe one of the players that we can count off, but how long? Maybe until the next injury. So... I have to admit, this time I agree with Corriere dello Sport and that is something that we don't talk about enough. We are speaking about 2021 Mercato a lot, you see all those names linked with all the teams in the world, but the season is not officially over yet. How will we restart the season? Will we be able with the midfield that we know was already a weakness for us? Will we be able with that midfield that on top of being a weakness is mentally not there anymore? Rabiot is gone, Pjanic is gone and who do we have? Bentancur, we have Matuidi, Ramsey. So let's see if we start with that or maybe Sarri will change and will use only two men in the midfield. So big question mark and I really like and want to exchange with you. How do you think that we will restart with that midfield? So not speaking about 2021, but this midfield. What do you think about it? I'm really curious about it. And I have to say Corriere dello Sport is true about that. So Close it and then we go to Tutto Sport. And what do we see in Tutto Sport? Big title, Arthur, Juve, più vicini. What means Arthur and Juventus are more closer than ever. So for the first time, really publicly, we put Arthur on the first page of Tutto Sport in big linked with Juve. I spoke about it three weeks ago already. I will post the link of the video. Uh, so you just have to click on it if you want to see that video. But after three weeks, Arthur is linked to Juventus. So uh, what means that a lot of people were speaking with me and were saying, Giuseppe, do you really want someone that doesn't want to go to Juventus at Juventus? And my answer is, Arthur never said that he doesn't want to go to Juventus. He said 
that he doesn't want to leave Barcelona. So try to imagine yourself as a 23 years old Brazilian going to Europe top elite club Barcelona. We cannot deny that Barcelona is a top elite club. You are there, you have an amazing country, seaside, beautiful weather, the language, you have friendships because you know, if you are there in a country, in a club for a few seasons, then you start to have real friendships. You are there, you are playing in the midfield and people are saying, okay, now you will have to leave for a country that you don't know. You don't know the culture. Torino, I love Torino. It's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. But if you don't know Torino, maybe you, you are thinking about it. You don't have the sea, you have the mountains. So it's a different style of, of life there than in Barcelona. Absolutely, yes. So I, I understand that the archer is saying, I want to stay in Barcelona. What well, doesn't mean he doesn't want to go back uh, to go to Juventus. So I believe from the moment, and now they are saying actually that Arthur entourage is saying, maybe opening to Juventus probably he start to say yes if I really have to leave Barcelona Juventus can be a first choice so make a difference try to understand that small small difference and I have to say for me that says since three weeks one month that Arthur will be a starter at Juventus the first page of Tutto Sport can be only a great great news but and here is the but all the Spanish media, because I was reading also the Spanish uh, papers, they were referring that news of Tutto Sport, saying, guys, in Italy, they are saying that Arthur is really, 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 really close to Juventus. What happened? Twitter, social media, how, what, or what is the fastest way to answer to a news? It's Twitter, no matter how. So, Francesc Aguilar was translating actually in Spanish what Tutto Sport was saying, who did answer yes? The mother of Arthur. Lucia Di Melo, you can find her on Twitter. She said, Arthur está feliz, no Barcelona. I think it's Portuguese. It means Arthur is really happy at Barcelona. Did she stop there? No, because she continued and Mundo Deportivo Twitter also reported the Tuto Sport News. What happened? Yes, you guessed it right. Lucia de Melo answered exactly the same answer. So for me, it's a copy paste. She said, Arthur está feliz, no Barcelona. Arthur is happy at Barcelona. So one answer, two answer, enough for the world to see it. But did she stop there? No, 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 no. Lucia de Melo also answered to Alfredo Martinez, who was saying, Según la pensa italiana, Arthur estaría cerca de aceptar su pase a la Juventus. So, according to Juventus papers, Arthur is really close to accept his move to Juventus. And she answered once again, Arthur está feliz. Where? No Barcelona. So Arthur is happy at Barcelona. I stopped there with uh, looking for news. Maybe she answered to uh, I don't know how many people. But so we had a great, great news, at least for me on Tuto Sport. And then you have the mother who came in and one, two, three, a lot of answers saying no, he's happy at Barcelona. But and I will tell you something. Did she say that he will not go to Juventus? No. She's saying that Arthur is really happy at Barcelona. That's also can be a kind of manipulation or trying to find some money for an exit. That happens sometimes, you know, that some clubs give money to a player so that he can maybe a bit easier uh, accept a transfer. And if we know that uh, Brazilian players are have a big, big entourage of family, of agents and so on and so on, we know that how bigger the cake is, how more parts you can uh, you can share. So that's uh, enough for Tuto Sport. And then we go to the last news I wanted to share with you. And that's actually Lotito. Lotito is really, really, really near to touch the dream. For the first time ever, he can win a Scudetto. He's trying everything he can. He wants to play no matter what. He doesn't care about the people died, the people recovered, the people with coronavirus. He doesn't care about all of that. Lotito, he doesn't respect the rules because when from the 11th until the 18th of May, 
the teams were allowed just to train individually and not with all the team, he already organized or allowed because he is the president to do three versus three at Lazio. So, so Lazio. So he was not really respecting the rules already. But what did he say to Repubblica a few days ago? He said about Juve Inter, the last game of Juventus. He said, did you see that game? Polemic. In Italy, it's polemic. We are not doing a polemic where it's not respecting the rules of playing three versus three. We are doing a polemic because he said, did you see that game? So Lotito has two options now. How or one is confirming what he says and then he has to give details about what his mind is thinking about Juve Inter. That's one. What will happen then is that we will open actually a dossier uh, to investigate about Juventus or two, he will say, no, I deny, I said that, but uh, I didn't really mean it or whatever. He will minimize the fact and what happened then normally, and I said normally, he should have a fee. So uh, an amount of money to pay because actually he was uh, putting in doubt the regularity of the Serie A. Guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the fact that as yesterday, I went online to look for the Italian papers to translate them to you. I also did some researches online for articles. So I did a big recap this time for you on a Sunday to be satisfied and happy. So put everything in the comments. What do you think about all the topics that we covered? I really, really, really need you to start debating on those things. Uh, just one thing that you have to know all the comments are read it and i answer all of them so just to make sure that if you are interacting i will be there so that's the first thing like the video share it with the juventus english speaking community that's the big dream as you always know i repeat it every time every time every time if you're asking yourself why i am in uh, a kid's room this is the room of my son at the moment i'm waiting for my computer that will arrive really soon i will go back to my standard background even if i start to really love that place because the chair is amazing the desk is crazy um, so like feedback comment share it thank you as always forza juve